In the cabin, as mentioned earlier, ergonomics were on top. Compared to its most famous competitor, the Pajero, the Prado is noticeably more spacious. The secret is simple. For a frame SUV there is a very low floor level, which allowed the engineers to increase the doorways so that car owners do not get their feet dirty when getting in or out. And the range of adjustments of the steering column and the driver's seat is quite sufficient even for people of our anthropological type. It's no secret that many people dislike Japanese cars precisely because of the layout of the driver's workplace for short Asians. The rear row of seats is equipped with the ability to adjust the backrest and, if necessary, folds into a flat floor, suitable for overnight stay even in the short three-door version. In the full-size seven-seat version, the rear folding seats will be convenient for children, who will also be delighted with a good overview, but it is better to put adults in these places only for short trips. The fourth-generation Prado, produced since 2009, pictured is a restyled model. Officially, only one version was supplied to the Russian market, a five-door Prado with a V-shaped six-cylinder gasoline engine with a capacity of 249 horsepower and a working volume of four liters, paired with an automatic. Most of the sold copies were in the maximum configuration R2. Its characteristic features were leather-trimmed seats, steering wheel, transmission and handbrake levers, wood grain inserts on the instrument panel, full power accessories, including electric drive and heated front seats, cruise control, separate climate control with separate controls for the rear, disc rear brakes, decorative lining on the wheel arches and roof rails. The only thing missing was the navigation system, which was available in versions for the European market. These copies were very expensive initially, and now they are getting cheaper the slowest. Therefore, a stream of used copies from Europe and the Middle East poured into the Russian market. There, the variety of equipment was simply huge, which, coupled with the customs duties then in force, allowed those who wished to become the owner of Prado, sometimes paying up to 50% less money for it. And for off-road fans, for example, it was the only way to get a short wheelbase diesel version without unnecessary special stages. It would be useful for a buyer in the secondary market to know other subtleties in order to avoid pitfalls when choosing. The main problem when buying Prado is a possible criminal component. This car is very popular among car thieves, and for copies imported into the Russian Federation through gray channels, the risks of curb customs clearance are added. Due to the large volume of engines, the share of customs payments after crossing the border could exceed half of the total price. Cars from the Middle East, often referred to among car owners as Arabs, due to the lack of additional anti-corrosion treatment, have a high risk of frame number damage. Let's also mention a common problem almost without exception, adjusted mileage, since, due to the high reliability of cars, it is quite easy not to notice the discrepancy between the mileage and the age of the car. And it is not uncommon that it is not the previous Russian owners who are to blame for this, often such fraud is in the order of things in southern countries. It is worth considering that for SUVs of this class, as practice shows, annual runs of 40 to 45,000 kilometers are more typical than the average 20 to 25,000. Engines. There were three main engines for Prado, two petrol, 4.0 and 2.7 liters, and a diesel 3-liter turbocharged unit. All motors proved to be quite reliable and quite worthy of the brand, but with long-term operation, a few nuances should still be noted. The top engine is a six-cylinder V-shaped gasoline 1GR FE with a working volume of 4 liters and a power of 249 horsepower, due to the large volume and power reserve, it proved to be the most durable and trouble-free unit. The drive of the timing system here is made by a low noise chain, which is operated without problems for 250 to 300,000 kilometers, and with the constant use of only synthetic oils with a change interval of 10,000 kilometers, it can run through all 400,000. Adjustment of clearances in the valve mechanism is carried out traditionally for Toyota engines of this generation using replaceable washers, and the overall quality of the parts is such that even at a run of 300,000 kilometers, clearances are still within tolerance. Engines up to 2004 were more prone to warping of the cylinder heads due to overheating, often the owners themselves are to blame for this, chronically not washing the cooling radiators clogged with dirt and poplar fluff. Later, this weakness was generally eliminated. A simpler four-cylinder 2TR FE with 163 horsepower also proved to be very reliable, but its overall resource is inevitably lower on average, since it is still rather weak for such a heavy car and the driver is forced to twist it more to ensure acceptable dynamic qualities. 
the resource of fuel equipment directly depends on the quality and purity of the gasoline used. With regular refueling at gas stations of reputable brands, the nozzles easily take care of up to 300,000 kilometers, the cost of a new part is from 12 to 18,000 rubles, the submersible fuel pump unit with the filter lives about 200,000 kilometers, and for revision it is necessary to remove the fuel tank. Therefore it is recommended to immediately replace the entire module assembly, 8 to 12,000 rubles. The water pump of the cooling system requires, as a rule, replacement at the turn of 180 to 200,000 kilometers, attached electrical equipment, a starter, a generator, an air conditioning compressor, require intermediate repairs in the region of 250 to 300,000 kilometers, but on condition that dirt or water did not get into them when overcoming off-road or when washing the engine compartment ineptly. All these figures are quite typical for Toyota power units in general, and Prado was no exception and assessing the condition of these components can indirectly help determine the real mileage of the car itself. But with the diesel 1KD FTV, there were much more problems. Its power during the modernization process was raised from 163 to 173 horsepower, but the main generic source remained unchanged. The first weak link is the timing belt drive. Despite the recommended replacement interval every 120,000 kilometers, for peace of mind it is better to do this after 100,000. In this case, it is recommended to use only original parts, belt and tension roller. Because when the belt breaks, the valves inevitably meet pistons, after which it may be necessary to replace not only the valves, but also the pistons, if the engine was running at high speeds at the time of the brake. Yes, and the very choice of this type of drive causes great bewilderment. For a diesel engine this is not a very good solution. Another weak point is the turbocharger assembly itself. In addition to the traditional resource of 150 to 200,000 kilometers, plastic gears are used in the turbine control unit, the resource of which is highly dependent on the cleanliness of the air channel, which is suitable for the turbine, it is recommended to check with an oil change on a non-new engine. The resource of injectors and high-pressure fuel pumps averages under 200,000 kilometers, again, when using high-quality fuel. The cost of replacing each nozzle is about 25,000 rubles and all 80,000 can be requested for the repair of a high-pressure pump. In addition to these power units, there are Prado with gasoline 5VZ FE 3.4L, 185 horsepower. This engine was used on the previous 90th series and migrated to the next one only for use in the domestic market of Japan. In addition, on cars from the southeastern markets, diesel 1KZ TE 3L, 131 horsepower, and atmospheric 5L V. 95 to 105 horsepower are very weak for prado it is better to bypass them and don't be tempted by the low price separately i would like to dwell on the choice of the power unit despite the fact that the characteristics of a 3.0 liter turbo diesel look very enticing even against the background of its 4.0 liter gasoline counterpart it is worth thinking carefully when choosing a used copy with a range of 150,000 kilometers the advantages of a diesel engine will be fully felt only by the owner of a fresh car, and the next ones will face the risk of a broken timing belt, expensive repairs of the turbocharging system and fuel equipment, which can completely negate the economic benefits of operating a diesel engine for several years to come. Indeed, despite the high tax from 249 horsepower, 1GR FE allows the use of 90-second gasoline, and the cost of diesel fuel in many regions has long exceeded the cost of 95th. How can one not recall the driver's wisdom here? The diesel engine does not save you money, it just lends it. For fans of off-road adventures, the diesel choice is obvious in any case, huge torque on the bottoms is vital there, and for everyday use Prado, a more modest version with a 2.7 liter gasoline may well be considered. Fortunately, its content, with a good choice, will be significantly cheaper. Transmission. With gearboxes, both mechanical, with a 2.7 L engine. And traditional hydraulic automatics, there are practically no problems provided that the oil is changed regularly, it is recommended to do this after 100,000 kilometers, but under severe operating conditions it is advisable to have the interval. Even on the oldest copies of 2002 to 2003 release, there are isolated cases of breakdowns. In 2005, during the next restyling, the 4-speed automatic was replaced by a 5-speed one. In the transfer case, the electric drive of the center differential lock can deliver problems, and again due to the use of plastic parts in it. The price of a new assembly assembly can reach 25,000 rubles, 
but the craftsmen have learned how to restore this assembly at a reasonable price. Oil seals of transmission units, anthers of CB joints, hub bearings during operation on the highway easily nurse up to 200 to 250,000 kilometers. Other suspension parts have a similar resource, levers, ball joints, tie rods, shock absorber struts, even parts of anti-roll bars can last up to 150,000 kilometers. Traditionally, Toyota's weaker point is the steering shaft assembly. Its connections can indicate a noticeable backlash by 120 to 150,000 kilometers, although this happens more often after seven to eight years of operation. Apparently, the lubricant dries out in moving joints. Brake system. Another victim of age is brakes. If you are experiencing problems with braking performance, the first thing to check is the mobility of the pistons and the brake cylinders and the guide pins and the calipers. You can save yourself from piston corrosion by regularly changing the brake fluid at least once every two years. For cars older than six years, it is recommended to do this every year and inspect and service the calipers themselves when replacing the pads. Possible souring of the parking brake cables is also a relic of the times. The replacement itself is not difficult. The cost of work and parts does not exceed two to three thousand rubles. Suspension. Separately, it is worth noting the issues of operation of the air suspension. The airbags themselves, unlike the products of eminent German competitors, have a resource of 200 to 250,000 kilometers, but require constant attention, because if the tightness is lost, their booster pump starts to work constantly and quickly fails, it is not designed for continuous operation. A little more problems are caused by the wiring to the body position sensor and shock absorbers. In the first case, the sensor will most likely have to be changed, 20 to 25,000 rubles for the original part. In the second, it will cost a little and repair the wiring harness. Body On the body, only specimens with the spare wheel on the rear door deliver characteristic problems. It turned out to be too heavy and its loops give up earlier than the time planned by the designers. Such a defect does not threaten anything terrible, but if the squeaks from the back door are annoying, it is better to change the hinges. A simple adjustment in order to select the backlash in the VAZ way will not give a special effect. On specimens intended for operation in a hot dry climate, as already noted, due to the lack of additional anti-corrosion protection, there may be problems with corrosion of the bottom and frame. Also at risk are the unprotected pipelines of the air conditioning system in the rear. And do not forget about the number on the frame, it is highly desirable to protect it additionally, without waiting for the development of corrosion. The paintwork is highly durable and the natural darkening of headlights and chrome-plated decorative elements is simply inevitable in our conditions. On this list of characteristic problems of the Land Cruiser Prado as a whole can be closed. Other breakdowns are caused either by very high mileage of cars, or damage in an accident. With constant off-road forcing, the resource of many nodes can be determined in minutes and hundreds of meters. However, it can no longer be called normal operation. 